Hey, what's going on guys? Miss Positivity. Um, I am doing a first playthrough of the game until dawn. Until dawn horror game came out in 2015, I believe. It has been quite the journey. Um, you're about to watch part one of my playthrough. I believe there's going to be around 10 parts of the playthrough each an hour long. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It has been terrifying to play through it and... <laughs> It has just been quite the experience, but I hope you guys like it. I have been enjoying going through it. I'm going to look different from each day because I did not record it like 10 hours through. So you're going to be like, whoa, that's you know, she looked different today. Um, yeah, multiple different parts of the of the playthrough. Um, I get scared. It's a scary game, so be prepared for that. Um, but I've been enjoying kind of getting immersed in the world. It's been really cool. So I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I hope you guys enjoy part one. Um, please like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you want to watch more. Um, but I hope you have a blessed rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy the content. All righty. Let's get started. Until dawn. Until dawn. Part one, <laughs> I actually have no idea how long this game is. I know a bit about it, obviously, uh, but this is just going to be, it's going to be crazy. I'm already scared <laughs> from the little I know about it. All right, adjust the slider until the logo is barely visible. I don't even see it. I'm just going to get through this. Traditional controls. Oh boy. <laughs> the music is already getting to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is just the title. <laughs> Why? Why do I have good headphones? Oh boy. All right. Let's do this. Tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. How? How would it lead to a hurricane? One little act today can lead to a tragic act tomorrow. Smallest decision can dramatically change the future. So I have to make the right decisions then, or else people are gonna die. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Oh man. I'm known to accidentally kill people in decision-making games. Your story is one of many possibilities. Mm okay, choose your actions carefully. Okay, cabin in the woods, what could go wrong? What the heck? Just a guy sitting out there with a knife. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I feel like so. something I'm mean is happening. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Something mean's about to happen. Oh, they're setting her up. That's so mean. That is really, really mean. Hey, did you see 
see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Okay. I am in control. Man, the game is super duper dark. Nice place. Very nice place. Somebody has rich parents. It's gonna let me go far. Okay, I'm just staying within the same area. What the heck? Am I supposed to go outside? What the heck? Oh. Current objective. Find out what the others are up to. Character traits. Honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious. Relationship status is... What? Okay. Relationship status to Hannah, Ty. It's her, it's her sister? Jess, Josh, Matt, Mike, Sam. She likes Josh the most. And then Sam comes to the guys. Interesting. Jess. And I can't wake this dude up. It's right to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Oh, okay. Going through the fun tutorial. You look so hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike, so he wrote that to Hannah, but that's like... Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh, is that her brother? I got your note. Glad you can make it. He's not a nice guy. Oh gosh, is she gonna take her shirt off? Maybe we should start with a little, you know... Don't take her shirt off. Out ...and see where it goes from there. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. That's so mean. That is so mean. What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all gonna be just a stupid prank. Uh, Why would they even go with that? You guys are jerks. She could have stopped that too. She's acting like she's yeah. all high and mighty after the fact. No. Chose to find the others. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! Oh, no. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh gosh. Action buttons? This is terrible for me. Safe? We're gonna go safe. So I don't want to see anybody tripping. That usually happens in these situations. We're gonna follow the footprints. I feel like that makes sense. Oh. They're bucks. They should run away. Jesus! Fuck! 
She's kind of crazy for running off. Who would ever run out into the woods? If anything, I would just go hide in another room. Who would run out into the woods in the middle of the night? While it's snowing. That's, that's a phone. This was made in 2015. I can direct the light beam using the right stick. Okay. We're gonna have the light right in front of us, please. <gasps> Holy crap. Oh, I'm gonna jump out of my skin with this game. That's for sure. Whew. I already am. Hello? There's a shoe, right? Hello? Is that a shoe? There's a shoe. No. What is that? What the heck? Death totem. What the heck? I don't want a death totem. Indigenous tribes believe the butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. The po the vision a vision of God is for a future choice. <laughs> Cool, so I could just, you know, I just kill my character immediately. That's, that's fantastic. Huh? Anna. Those, are those her footprints? There's some big footprints back there. Why? What the hell was that? What the heck? What is that Anna. in front of me? from here. Of course. I knew somebody was going to fall. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Somebody's going over the edge. Why would they just run off to the side? What the heck? Hold on. Something is burning something. Hold on. Ew. Oh. Wait, what? Uh Okay. Okay, so they both died. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. Again, immediately I make a bad decision and I end up killing two people when I feel like maybe if I just let go, the guy would have grabbed my arm. Before we begin, oh boy. there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Does he have a list? I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this mm -hmm. as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Okay. Fantastic. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. 
Who, who is he? Is he my well, therapist? We will start with a simple exercise. Okay. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, tell it is essential mm. that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Okay. Who am I? Ugh. That's really freaky. Scarecrow. Farmhouse. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh... Uneasy. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think? Who would make that, that who would that right? picture make happy? Why is he looking at me like that? Uh the scarecrow I definitely didn't like. Well I see. That's why I felt uneasy. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say, I wouldn't feel comfortable staying anywhere alone like that. No, I would not. <laughs> what? Why would I want to stay alone? Why not? Uh, I'd be scared. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? The. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't know. It just seems abandoned. So I, I guess, yeah. There's something else. Oh. Oh, I don't like his That's facial expressions. Thank you. But perhaps we can explore the depths of your fears the next time we meet. I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Okay. That's fine with me. Oh, man. The heck? Am I dead? Did he just dismiss me by getting up and walking to the window? Okay. Is that saying death? Is that saying death? My gosh. I am going to jump out of my skin in this game. Hayden Panettiere. Yep. Recognized her immediately. Peter Stormare. So I already made a decision that ended up killing both sisters. And that's going to affect the rest of the game. I ended up killing both sisters. One of the sisters had a butterfly tattoo, which I feel like related to the butterfly effect, related to everything, and I feel like that's gonna come up again. Like, why would they just, like, zoom in on her butterfly tattoo? Today is the one-year anniversary Ooh. of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. And Mount Washington. Thanks for having me, Marty. Oh, man. Hannah and Beth Washington. Please don't tell me that they go back. They go back, don't they? Oh. It was their parents' lodge? Wow. They go back. My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something hmm. about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. Do they think the girls just disappeared? Thank you for joining us, With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Are they going back Hello, because of that? Hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. He played that king right. in Night at the Museum. Well, hello, Is it King Tut? friends and fans. 
it's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Oh, man. So, uh, Why would he go back? Let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're Why would she go back? worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means. Oh, that's her brother, isn't it? So much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah. Not Hayden's, that but we're, that's we're Hannah and together. Beth's brother, the, the other Josh or something, Josh Washington. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. Why wouldn't he be upset? Because they were the reason that she died. And, you know. Okay, so. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Weird. What's the deal with the guy with the flamethrower that he was running around with? Okay, I don't like a spider. I don't like the spider. I have a huge issue with spiders, guys. I, I would never play a game that, that like featured spiders. Nope. Blackwood Pines. Oh boy. Memento Mori, 10 hours until dawn. Is everything gonna happen within 10 hours? No shot. What the heck? Sam, Hannah's best friend, considerate, adventurous, diligent. She wasn't considerate when she let them go through with that mean plan. Also, Sam. I thought Sam was a guy. It's a girl. Hello? Okay. Creepy breathing. Path to cable car station. Who would just show up on their own? They're brave or stupid? I'm leaning towards the ladder. I'm gonna need that tutorial. I've not played this game. Oh my goodness. All right. The gate's busted. Climb over. Oh, what? <laughs> Chris. Thank you. Oh, oh my inside. goodness. How is she supposed to climb over? There's like spikes and everything up top. Oh, it's just letting me do it again. All right. So that's not going to work. How am I supposed to climb over? That's going to be rough. Oh, that actually doesn't look too bad. We're going to be safe, guys. We're going to be safe. Like, what's the rush here? I'm going to fall, aren't I? Is there snow on the other side for when I fall off this <laughs> this wall? The heck. Loud breathing ensues. <laughs> What's going on here?
This is so creepy. Why wouldn't they show up in pairs? These are the dumb teenagers. They end up dying. Hello, fella. screen. Keep the wireless controller as still as possible. Huh? What if I have to sneeze? <laughs> There's a don't move icon. I hope I'm not scared. Oh man. If you aren't sure of what to do next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Head to the cable car station. Okay. That's cool how they have the characters in the main screen. I pressed R1 on accident earlier and it took me to that. Can I read this? I feel like I can. No? Oh, I can. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Death, black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger, red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss, brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune, white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. All right, tribes who once lived in these mountains relieved, believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. That's not terrifying at all. And then you immediately find one. You can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. What if I just don't feel like picking it up? And I don't have a choice. Guidance totem. Does she see that? Or is that just for me? The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Well, I definitely made the death prophecy come true just a minute ago. To view my totem collection. Uh. Doesn't even seem like that big of a prophecy. It just looks like a bird shows up somewhere. All right. Is this the cable car station? Looks like it. There's a backpack Chris? here. You here? Bag's here. Where are you? You're not Is he gonna try to scare her? Hello. What do we have here? I'm gonna be Snoopy. That changes something. Appears uh -huh. when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. Has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, method methodical. Why does Chris look scary? I, I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. <laughs> oh, so I found What's something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Okay. I could have gone inside too. Blow your mind. Can I still can I still go inside? There's a door. Or maybe it's locked and it's just like allows me to check it. I had to go to the bag. Okay. That's what I was wondering. You always gotta check though, as I run into a post. Never know for sure. Wanted, Victor Milgram. Look at this. Torn up wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain dated 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. 62, last one address, Blackwood Pines. Last seen, 316, 1998. Why would it still be up? Isn't that years and years ago? Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Okay, so I can find clues to increase my chances of survival. That's great. Pretty rad, right? Oh man. Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you yeah, that's weird. Josh's dad? Yeah. Why is he pointing the gun at her? He's pointing the gun at her! Dude! Uh, now you go ahead, Chris Knight. 
All right. Here Holy goes. moly. It was loaded and he was just pointing it right at her. Oh, man. That's crazy. It's like a BB gun. Not too difficult. Oh my gosh. I guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. <gasps> don't you dare shoot the squirrel. Don't you dare. I'm not shooting the squirrel. It's not happening. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride coming. Okay, hey, so I changed something. Come on, come I didn't want to kill the squirrel. Butterfly effect update. Status update. Go to the cable car still. Emily, Josh, Josh, Matt, Mike, Sam. Okay. He's curious. Yeah, we're coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Oh, I'm him. Well, where do we go? Is that just the cable car isn't back here at all? Really hard on Josh. No, it is not. I don't they switched me to Chris. Thought I was still Sam. There's not subtitles on right now. Like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know. Do they need to have subtext as well? Sorry guys. Sub sidebar text. No, I'm just running into a wall. All right, how do we get through here? Man, the game is so dark. The past is beyond our control. Awesome. Creepy. Sounds like it's actually terrifying. All right, now how do we get through here, Chris? Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Uh. We just go through the window? After you. Oh, real gentleman. This is such a weird spot to be at. Like, why would they go up to the mountain when it's nighttime? You know, like, what are they doing here? I thought the car was closer. It's really strange. Oh, I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this going to take? Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium for a what healthy a body and mind. Place to set up house. A little no bit. How rich you are? They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. <laughs> they only bought a mountain. Creepy. Is that over the hot tub? Oh, it's over the whole house. Is he going to switch again? Is anything creepy going to happen? What is that sound? Oh, is that the train car? Anything else over here? Weird. It is, it is switching, I think. 
No, it's not. It was on the jacuzzi and now it's just on the house and it's not moving. I'm waiting to see something really freaky show up. <laughs> something jump out at the screen. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Let's just go to this creepy train car, whatever it is. Ski lift? Ugh. Just like going to the prom. We go. Right. They aren't terrified of this? Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> Friend zone. Enjoy you know it. Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're it's gonna right. be kind of hard to not talk you about what happened. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. What? So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. Oh my we goodness. Same friends to this day. It's an interesting story. <laughs> All for some bra snapping. Genie Simmons hit puberty like <laughs> three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. To the butterfly effect. Right now, or or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Is that really it? Oh, great. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Was she there last time? Jess. Mike was the one that was super mean to the other girl. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Uh, yeah, why is it not getting me any commands? Just character info, relationship status. There we are. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I have a lot of meat on my bones. Ew. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. Hold on a second. Okay. Wait, she's super close to Matt, too. So, like, her relationship status is she's Mike's new girlfriend, but why is she super close with Matt? Is she related to him, or does she like him instead? Is there something there? And I'm blocking the rest of the screen. She's very romantic, guys, apparently. And curious. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Explain. Mike and M split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Oh, nice. How romantic. M's out, she's in. Gotta love high school or college right, relationships. I don't know how old these people are supposed to be. Thinking college. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. 
see who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam? They look like they're like... You? I mean, 23 year olds being stupid. Stop and take it all in. Yes, take in the really creepy view. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Oh, resourceful, persuasive, intelligent. Okay. Was she the one that did the mean prank to Heather? It's Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Okay. I'm carrying all the bags. Let's go. So we make our way to this creepy lodge. In the middle of the night. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <sighs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mike, Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, and persuasive. <sighs> you guys. Michael. <sighs> you really, really should have seen your faces right My heart. I almost clocked you. I can't. Nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. That's kind of inappropriate. That's really, that's really rude. Michael, It'd be nice. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on. Okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? <laughs> oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car. What? On the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Alright, see ya. Okay. Oh, crap. What? what? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? Okay, are you really gonna go talk yeah. to your ex now? All the bags. Uh, why? why? Yeah, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot. I need no, to talk to her. No, she wants to go talk to Mike. So See through wait. it. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right. Fine. Okay. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. What does that mean? She Just dating him? And he you said, you owe me one? See Thank you up you. there, sweetie. As I go talk to Mike. What? Status update. Relationship status. So he's more charitable now, I guess. Romantic. Less curious because I didn't. Oh, so I could change all of this changes. And his relationship went higher with Mike because he chose not to threaten him. It helps to be friendly, I guess. She doing? Has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive and forthright. She seems like she would be with Chris. They look alike. Washington Lodge grounds. Whoa, hello. Uh oh. He's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Mike and Emily. Are they just going to repeat that scene? Don't touch her! Oh! oh God. <laughs> Hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. I didn't mean to 
scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my god. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. no, it's busted. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just... What? <laughs> for real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Okay. Uh, I just sure. affected something. Help yourself. I just affected something. Oh. I should have just stuck with my gut. Son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Okay, a hug doesn't mean that they're getting back together. A hug could mean that they just needed to talk things out. They're done. I don't know. And they're just like, we're going to just be friends now. This is going to be better for us. And I really like who I'm with right now. That's all that that could have meant. But of, of course, somebody just goes straight to the worst possible thing. Like you can have anxiety over it, but you don't have to go and just automatically assume you know exactly what happened. <sighs> Jessica, upper cable car station. Uh, read a book. I just feel like you'd do well with it. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Run to bench. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Thing. Crap. Huh? Gotta try harder than that, hero. Okay, so they're just flirting up on the mountain, I guess. Hiding, little chicken. Oh, ah. Got him! Hey! Oh, snap! Oh. What does this mean? Don't hit the bird. Hello? Come on. Hey, Mike! Dang! Take him down! Take him out! It's like she's throwing rocks at him. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Yeah, like I'm not gonna hit a bird. Now I can hit him in the face, though. Whoa! Oh. Right. One, just... And then what? Oh. No more. Attack him! Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you Dump oh, snow yeah. down his back. <laughs> That's always the worst feeling though. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Looks like she's crying right. with the way that they did the animation. Where am I? So are we calling it my favor then? You're worthy opponent. Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Why is she? Why? Why is she laying like that? Kiss now, kiss. Mwah. Now I gotta close my eyes. Keep it appropriate. Wow, save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. <laughs> pretty breathtaking. Yes, it's I mean, so I nice in the snow. Pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Yes, just making out. Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Mm hmm. Status update. So she is way less brave, a little less charitable, a little less funny, <laughs> a little less curious, way up romantic, way up honest. Chris's relationship got better. Sam's got worse. Mike's got better. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. Who am I? Am I like the only one that survived, possibly? Whoever that may be in therapy. Seems we're 
sort of scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Okay. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. What? Women. It gloves on too. <sighs> Planes scare me. Planes definitely scare me more than crowds. Drowning or falling. Your heights. I fear heights. I mean, I fear both, but I guess maybe I just don't want both to happen. It's not like I'm of constant fear of it. Probably snakes would scare me more, especially rattlesnake. Gun or a knife? Uh, both don't really scare me, but I guess if a gun was pulled on me, that'd be scarier than a knife being pulled on me. Ugh. Cockroaches. Cockroaches are snake. Why do we have a snake over? So like that's like that's weird. Uh clowns or scarecrows? Well, both look terrifying. Probably clowns. Especially since clowns started attacking people way back when. Gore disgust me. Okay, gore. Ugh. Startle you. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. A little bit. You're doing very well. Am I trapped with this man? Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Spiders, that's easy for me. Uh, gore still over needles. What's he doing? Ugh. Zombies. Yeah, I don't like zombies. Since The Walking Dead, I'm good. Wolves are gore. Probably gore. Wolves are cool. Gore. Okay, gore. Not a storm. A storm's not. Why? Why all this gore? This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. Uh-huh. Spiders, zombies, and awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. What the heck? <laughs> they made him creepy on purpose. Uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. What did we do before this weird test? What? So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed part one of my Until Dawn playthrough. Obviously a lot happened and my choices led to some deaths that I don't know if they necessarily had to happen. At least not for both of the sisters, but... Yeah, so that happened. Anyways, sorry about some of the lighting issues that you might see throughout parts one and two. I believe that I fixed it in part three. Something with my Elgato 4K capture, like I had to fix the brightness settings in the actual capture card software versus like in the game software. So hopefully it's not too bright, but just let me know if you guys have any thoughts or feedback on some of my choices in the game or just some of the brightness and the settings that you guys are seeing. Maybe you think it's fine, uh, but just let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if this is your first time watching it, I am right along with you of being terrified, <laughs> but I will see you guys next time for Until Dawn part two, but have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless.